What's going on everybody? I don't even have my microphone today. Um, well, this is a lock emergency. This is a community emergency. It's an attack against the culture, you know. Oh, I know everybody has seen that video of the young man getting his um, dreads cut off at the um, rest and meat. And I know like myself, you probably felt nauseous and felt violated and felt like you wanted to, you know, do something, you know. And you also felt like, why wasn't there another adult, black, white, Asian, Chinese, whatever, in that audience who stood up for the young man and said, no, that's not, it's not acceptable, you know. Um, this is just, it's a disgrace, but it just shows you where we are as a society where we have absolutely no respect for one another, you know. Um, you know, if you're Mexican or black or any person of color, you're, you, you, you're, you're going to get attacked, you know. And... Nobody out. Nobody cares, you know, and it's a shame, you know. Um, now that I have locks and I've grown to love them, and they're definitely an extension of me, you know. They're not just a hairstyle, because it's not something that you can just go get overnight, you know. It's something you have to grow and cultivate, and you know. And it's, I was so upset. I mean, I don't get upset about much because life is life and life happens, but it's not just hair. It's not just hair, it's an attack, you know. And as a people, not just ones with locks, we should be outraged that, you know, there's a public violation like that and then without, you know, consequence. You know, I'm sure it's something will happen, but it won't be, it won't be enough. It has to be more, like... Like, what do we do as a people? How do we stand up? Do we all go get locks now? I don't know. It's like, um, I'm glad the attention is being brought to the topic so that we can um, change our view on it and understand that it's not just a hairstyle. These things on the top of your head are an extension of who you are. And if it took for somebody to tie a t-shirt on so that the young man could um, win at, at the um, event, you know, so be it. But to just sit there and hack at his head with a pair of dirty scissors, who knows where them scissors came from? And you just cutting locks off in the front that had nothing to do with the, like the, you just, she, she, the woman, if you saw the video, was just angry. It was like, she was just like, F you and your locks. If you want to be with us, you have to, it was just, you can feel all of it. It was nonverbal. It was definitely there though. Um, and, I don't know what town they was in, but <laughs> couldn't have been in my town because there would have been four or five people running down out the bleachers and had to, they would have had to um, come come rescue that lady because it would have been, they would have felt the violation and they would have done something about it. Not to blame anybody, it's just it was just absolutely unacceptable and um, and I, for that reason, I went and I watched so many lock videos. I felt like we just need to support each other, you know, and if you've taken, if you've embarked on the journey of growing locks, you need to be supported because, you know, this is what God intended your hair to look like. It came out of your scalp and you're embracing it. You're not hacking it off and trying to conform to a society that doesn't, that doesn't even like you anyway, you know. You're embracing your natural texture, you know, and I feel like, go out there and watch 10 lock videos today, you know, support, comment, and and because I know the man or woman that you're supporting is getting some type of um, stares in, in, in their environment, you know, so we need to um, support each other so the person growing these things up their head don't go in and get rid of them because of somebody's, somebody's looks or somebody's um, opinion about them, you know, so happy growing and I say that at the end of all my videos because it's important um people are going to judge you but don't don't take that on you know know that these things are you they're beautiful and that's all I have to say about that don't be angry be empowered you know so happy growing peace and blessings and we gotta do better people my goodness um I look pretty. I had to wash my dress. That won't dry. I gotta put some oil, some, some, some.
I look crazy. I just got to work and I just keep hearing that story on TV and I just was like, man, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta interject something into that because it's, it's a crazy world out here. So I'm gonna get back to work <laughs> and I'm gonna keep growing my locks. And um, I'll talk to you later. Should I do a rotation? I don't know, it's nothing, nothing major. This is the front, it's the side, it's the back. All I gotta say is I wish a motherfucker would tell me to cut my locks off. You come near me with some scissors. That's gonna be the last thing you see is those scissors in your face. I wish a motherfucker. <laughs> Sorry, you cousin. Sorry. Miss wish a motherfucker would tell me to cut my locks off. It's not gonna go very nicely. I'm sorry. I'll quit a job if they told me I had to I had to do something to change my appearance when I know. Whatever my appearance is, it's not that outrageous that, you know, would affect anything. It's just you being, you know, whatever those words are, I don't, whatever. But anyway, again, peace and blessings, happy growing, and...